on this side, we will look at this. layer of the earth where people live, mantel just below the crust and is made of hot molten rocks. The outer core is the third layer of the earth and is made up of liquid nickel and iron. The deepest layer of the solid inner core. We have two blocks of rocks model. 
And let us identify them one by one. Namely, you have here the cross. You have here the epicenter. You have here the focus. You have here the fault line. And then you have here the fault plane. Focus. It is also called as hypocenter. It is the point within the earth where an earthquake rupture starts. The focus is now hidden under ground. Next, epicenter. The spot directly above the focus on the surface of the earth is called the epicenter. This is where the strongest shaking occurs during an earthquake. Fault line is defined as the trace of the fault on the surface of the earth. Its rapid movement may produce a powerful energy that can result to a strong earthquake. Then last, the fault plane it is the area of contact between the two fault lines. Okay, class, let us now discuss and uh, demonstrate the different types of your fault using your model. Number one, you have strike steel fault, lateral or side by side motion that does not produce a fault scar but can create weaker area of crop or fault block slide fast one another. A typical example of this is San Andreas fault. Okay, what is an example of right lateral fault? Number two is normal fault when a hanging wall moves down relative to the foot wall. A clip is fall, fall a fall scar. A deep slip fall in which the block above the fault has moved down relative to the block below. Number three, you have reverse fall. In the central hanging fall was pushed down. Relative to the foot wall, a deep slide and slip fall in which the upper block moves down and over the lower block. So these are the different types of fall. An earthquake may be described into ways, one is intensity and number two, based on magnitude. Here in the Philippines, the FIBOX or Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology is responsible for detecting the intensity and magnitude of an earthquake that happened in one particular place. Let us now differentiate them. Magnitude is the amount of energy released by an earthquake. It is measured using seismograph and seismometer. Magnitude is written in Hindu-Arabic, while intensity, it is the effect of an earthquake the people, building, bridges, anything above the surface of the earth. It is higher near the epicenter. It is measured using Philippine Earthquake Intensity Scale and is written in Roman numeral. And now class, let us describe and differentiate the classification of faults. First, you have active fall and second, inactive fall. It is commonly considered to be active if there has been recorded movement or seismic activity during the last 10,000 years. The five active falls lying in the Philippines are Western Philippine Fault, Eastern Philippines Fault, South Mindanao Fault, 
Central Philippines Fault and Marikina Ballet Fault System. And it is said to be inactive faults that the structure that we can identify but which do not have earthquake if a fault has been inactive for a million years, it is certainly safe to call it is inactive. We will now proceed to the given activities. For activity number one, answer the puzzle. Use the table as your guide. And now, let us proceed to, uh, to the given activities. We will now answer the given puzzle. Okay, for number one, across, we have here earthquake. For number two, across, shear. For number three, down, reverse. For number four, down, tension. For number 5, across, normal. And the last one, number 6, across, compression. Number 7, down, hot. Number 8, across, strike slip. Number 9, across, friction. The last one, number 10, down, confining. Now, let's proceed to activity number 2. Match the register magnitude indicated in column A with the earth rate effect found in column D. Write your answer on the space provided for. Let us proceed to the answers of activity number two. Number one, letter B, or widespread of destruction. Number two, letter G, furniture moves. For number three, May not be felt, letter F. For number 4, letter D, felt by most people. Number 5, letter E, holds severe damage. Number 6, letter A, lead to a lot of damage. And number 7, the last one, letter C, felt little by people. I hope you learned today. Remember this. Knowledge and preparedness are keys for survival. God bless us all. Keep safe. Goodbye everyone.